What you guys just saw was my short film version of the famous philosophical thought experiment that was proposed by the philosopher Frank Jackson that's known as either the Mary's Room Thought Experiment or the Knowledge Argument. So in Jackson's thought experiment, he asks us to imagine a girl he calls Mary that's born colorblind, but she has a very specific kind of colorblindness, which is called achromatopsia, which just means that she can only see black, white, and various shades of gray. Another version of the story is that Mary is just given contact lenses that only allow her to see black and white. And a more popular and well-known version, and the version that Jackson himself uses, is that Mary is born in a black and white room where she's never allowed to leave. So regardless of whatever version it is you prefer, the whole idea behind the thought experiment is that Mary has never had any color experiences before. So as the story goes, Mary becomes a super scientist and she learns all the physical information you can have about the neurophysiology of vision and she specializes in color vision. So Mary knows that different wavelengths of light correspond to different colors. She knows that light reflects off objects and hit the light sensitive receptors in our eyes which then get converted into nerve impulses and sent to the visual cortex to be converted into color. So to reiterate, Mary has all of this good sciencey physical information about vision. So the philosophical question that Jackson wants to ask with his thought experiment is once Mary undergoes some sort of operation to fix her achromatopsia, uh, assuming that that's possible, or once she removes her contact lenses or is somehow allowed to leave this black and white room and she experiences colors for the first time, does she learn something new? So the intuitive response to this is, well yes, of course, she has to be learning something new because just having all this physical information about color vision doesn't seem to give one the feeling of what it's like to actually see red or orange, blue, whatever color you want. Just knowing that different wavelengths correspond to pink or green doesn't give one the experience from the inside of what it's actually like to see green. So just having all this physical information about things doesn't seem like it's enough to tell us what it's like to taste lasagna or hear a symphony or pet a dog or smell a certain flower. So at first glance, it seems at least that the science is missing something. So the conclusion that Jackson comes to in regards to this thought experiment is that there must be some non-physical facts about reality since clearly the physical information isn't enough to tell us what it's like. It doesn't tell us what it's like to experience anything. So Jackson comes up with another example, and uh, it's much less known, but I really like it. Um, he talks about a guy he calls Fred, who is not a normal human perceiver. Fred can see strange colors that nobody else can see. And again, Jackson asks, assuming that we have all of the physical information about how it is that Fred's brain works, it still seems like we would have no idea what it's actually like to see the strange colors that Fred sees just like in the case with Mary. So in essence, Jackson is using this thought experiment as an argument against physicalism, which is the idea that all things that exist are physical. So of course, this being philosophy, many philosophers are going to reject this as an argument against physicalism. Jackson himself later denies his original conclusion and says, no, there are no non-physical facts about reality. Every fact that exists is a physical fact. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to be making another video with some of the objections that physicalists have offered against this argument. However, it might be a little while since I'm still in school, at least until my workload isn't as heavy. But again, thank you guys so much, and please feel free to leave comments down below and subscribe.